Hi, this is Primary School Made Easy and this is the last video in the series on rounding and we're just going to be looking at some mixed examples to get some final practice. So, £265.42 rounded to the nearest hundred. So, when we're rounding to a hundred, we look at the tens. If the tens is one, two, three or four, we're going to round down. And if the tens is five, six, seven, eight or nine, we're going to round up. So there's our number. The hundreds is the one that's going to change. So it's going to round to two or three, down to two or up to three. The tens is a six. So that tells us we're going to be rounding up to three. There we go. So 265 pounds and 42 pence rounds to 300 pounds. Now, same number, but this time we're going to round to the nearest 10 pounds. If we're rounding to 10 pounds, it's the units we need to look at. If the units is one, two, three or four, we'll round down. And if the units is five, six, seven or eight or nine, will round up. So here's our number. The tens is the one that's going to change. So it'll either round down to six or up to seven. And the units is five. So that's telling us we're going to be rounding up. So the tens will become a seven. The hundreds will stay the same. And we can see that 265 pounds and 42 pence rounded to the nearest 10 pounds is 270 pounds. Same number, this time we're rounding to one pound. So when we're rounding to a pound, we're going to look at the tenths column. If it's one, two, three or four, we round down. And if it's five, six, seven, eight or nine, we round up. So the units is the number that's going to change. It's either going to round to five or six. The tenths is a four. That's telling us we're rounding down this time. So the units will become a five. Let's do that. The hundreds and the tens will stay the same and everything else becomes a zero. So 265 pounds and 42 pence rounds to 265. And the final one, we're gonna round it to 10 pence. When we're rounding to the 10 pence, we look at the hundreds column. If the hundreds is one, two, three or four, we round down. And if, it, if it's five, six, seven, eight or nine, we round up. So the tenths is the one that's going to change. It's going to be four or five. The hundreds is a two, that's telling us to round down to four. So we change the tenths to a four. Hundreds, tens and units will stay the same and the hundreds will become a zero. So 265 pounds and 42 pence rounded to the nearest 10p will be 265 pounds and 40p. Okay, well done. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.